If Adam Aaron says we now own 90% of the float up from 80% earlier this year, what if we just buy the supposed last 10% lol, not financial advice? If we did, Adam Aaron would be able to tell us that we now have, well, 100% of the float, which would cause mayhem, wouldn't it? Obviously, we know there's more than 100%, but if he's able to confirm we hold an apparent 100%, what do you think would happen? F it, I'm going hard this week. That is a really creative idea. I really wonder what the headlines would be all of a sudden if it says, well, AMC retail investors apparently own 100% of the floats. With there, of course, being regular filings showing that institutions also own, you know, 20, 30% of the floats, as well as insiders owning a percentage of the float, what would the mainstream media say? It would be quite obvious at that time that there's more than 100% of the float that's been purchased, which would hopefully jumpstart more of an investigation from Gary Gensler at the SEC. At least you would think so, but I think over time, regardless, as more and more retail investors get in on this trade, I mean, the community is growing. It might be growing slow at times, but it is still growing. The community is not shrinking. It's growing over time. So as that continues to happen and as we all continue to save up money, buy the dips and just keep holding on to shares, I think it's very possible that retail could own 100% of the float at some time. But let me know what you guys think down below. But if you want to stay up to date with everything else that's going on with AMC, because trust me, there's a lot more to go through. Make sure to please subscribe to my channel with notifications turned on so you never miss out on a video. Also, drop a like on this video for some good luck moving forward for AMC. And lastly, go to the second link down below in my description and join my private exclusive Discord server. Thanks as always, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.